Welcome back. So glad to have you on the show. Well, this morning. it's good Thank to be you. here. We're going to get two scoops of you. We're going to get dessert and dinner. I hope folks can handle two scoops. I'm excited. So. Well, we're going to start off with dessert first. And keeping in mind with what's fresh for summer, a cantaloupe dessert. Yeah, it, yeah this is a good idea. Um, the dessert part of it, this whole meal is something that we actually eat at home. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I like meals in the summertime that are light. Mm -hmm. I really like fish. We usually do uh, some sort of fish on Sunday night. But one of the things that we like to do is is make it pretty simple. In other words, not have a big drawn out affair. So right. that's what you're going to kind of see here today, even though it looks <laughs> kind of complicated at first. But um, cantaloupe, uh, anytime this this time of year you can use melons, do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, not only from like our company, but also there's a lot of people that are just selling cantaloupe. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lady that down on Grand that sells them, that brings them in from way down south. and. And they're phenomenal, a dollar a piece. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. You know, for germ really? I can do that. Really? I can so, afford that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> your, your uh, cantaloupes, your watermelons, oh, all yeah. this stuff, it's a good time to kind of tie them into a salad. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have Meredith mix this sauce together. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a cup of orange juice. And you can use fresh mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or just regular orange juice. And then I'm going to have you whisk into that. Uh, it's about a tablespoon of... Uh, Honey. honey. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one of the things you're trying to do here is you're, and, and think about what we're doing. One of the things that I'm really love to do with these kind of recipes is to put uh, a lot of fresh ingredients in there. Yeah. Because you, you get away from having to use a lot of different things, uh, spices and that sort of thing, and it just gives it a nice fresh feel. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of uh, lime juice in here. Okay. So what you're doing is you're basically putting a lot of uh, citrus citrus acid in here. So it'll probably pretty much burn you up when you know. <laughs> <laughs> it will, That's it will, not true. It will give you a lot of a lot of nice um, kind of contrasting flavors. Yeah. And then uh, if you set that down there real sure. quick, so that I don't hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, don't hurt me. So um, and then what you want to do is you want to put a little bit of the lime zest in there. Huh. And before my goal, before my time here is up someday, is to make sure that Meredith gets one of these and understands how to use it. Okay. <laughs> Instead of like for a back it might scratcher be a long or something. Can, yeah. can you see that happen? How much yeah. time do you have? Yeah, well, we're going we're gonna to try to do that. How okay? long do you want to be here? Yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> it's locking me down for a couple of years at yeah, least. Yeah, so. at least. Yeah. Let's okay. discuss your retirement plan. That's right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pour that over the top of the cantaloupe. Okay. Ooh, okay. okay. So you've got orange juice, honey. Ugh. Lime juice, lime zest. right? And, lime right. Zest. Okay. and then go ahead and take a spoon and just give that a okay. whirl. And you just want to mix this up and set it in your refrigerator, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, just let it kind of absorb the juice. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen is we're going to put this on the plate when we get ready to serve it with the fish. We're going to put this on a plate and uh, put a little uh, uh, coconut over the top of it, okay. so okay. you get kind of a texture and another another uh, introduction to another uh, ingredient to it. Okay. Now. One of the things I'll tell you, this doesn't have to be served as a side dish. You can put this into little cups, mm -hmm. put a little, li little lime slice with it. It's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of different options with this dish. Now, while we're here, before we leave and go back and come back, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this fish a little bit, okay? Okay. The fish we're going to use today is barramundi. And what barramundi is, it's like a, uh, it eats like a sea bass, but it's a lot less expensive than sea bass. Mm. So if you ever had sea bass, it's, it's one of those, have you had sea bass? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It eats like sea bass. It's got a real nice flavor, mm -hmm. but it comes from like the northern side of Australia along the coast. Okay. And it's actually been called a uh, Asian sea bass because it's a little bit not, you know, it's obviously not direct sea bass, but it yeah. looks the same, it eats the same, everything else. A lot less expensive, okay? All right, you're okay. speaking on cheap language. Yeah. We're going to well, throw this on the grill. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's fine. Did he wind seconds. us up? Is that why he came yeah. out here? Okay. Yeah, I didn't see him, so I didn't. Know. I didn't either, so I didn't know why you. Yeah, doing I didn't know why. Okay. I didn't know why you were yelling at me. So I'm. <laughs> Stop it! Stop why? talking! Hey. Why? Yeah. Stop talking! <laughs> I'll tell you what you. Can